Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting here. I am coach number 49, and in this video, I am gonna talk a little bit more about our Journey Color Burst Pencils. Okay, so if you've seen my previous video about the Journey Color Burst Pencils, I did a quick little, I say quick, probably not quick. I did a review over the pencils. Um, I talked a little bit about them, and I showed you how I compared them um, to the very, most very popular color pencils out in the market, the Prisma color pencils. Um, anyway, I showed you how um, I used the, uh, these pencils to color these beautiful little pretty birds and gave you some specs. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to blend the colors that are shown on our guide to create very specific Fun Stampers Journey colors that go in our color palette. Um, I'm gonna do that, and as I do that, I will again review some of the highlights of these pencils, and um, of course, give you the specs again on them. All right, all right, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. So I wanted to start off by um, showing you guys the back of the tin again, um, where it talks specifically, I say talks, it shows you specifically, um, the colors that our Fun Stampers Journey Color Palette hosts, and it correlates with the pencils. They're numbered, and as I mentioned earlier, and let me see if I can zoom in, there's a few of these that require some blending. So, um, for example, let's say we wanted to create buttercream. Let's go ahead and put that up there. So you can see that buttercream has two numbers assigned to it. So 048 and 017. And that means that in order to create um, the closest color to buttercream that we can, you have to blend these two colored pencils to create that color. And um, if you take a look at these, um, there's quite a few of them that are just the, the number, that only require one. Uh, so black licorice obviously is just the one and rock candy and river stone. But there's quite a few, if you look around, that will require blending to create that exact color. Um, and there's actually 23. So you have 48 um, pencils here in this tin that come with the set and 23 of them require uh, some blending in order to achieve that exact tone. So the good news is, is that it's not difficult at all and I'm about to show you how. So um, let me go ahead and open this little guy up. I'm gonna set it off to the side. And you will uh, notice that I have this sheet here. So what I did was I created a little guide for myself, so to speak. Um, and I stamped a little stamped image and I cut, I uh, hole punched rather, um, a circle of each color that requires the blending. And I also included um, the numbers that were the, the numbers that were required to make that color. And I wanna go ahead and um, take you through the process of what I did to create each color so that it's easy for you to, to see how I did it and easy for you to replicate it yourself. Um, so I left um, one of the little bows uh, stamped images clear, free, um, so that I can go ahead and color it in and show you um, how I created this color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. Now, they're not in any particular order. Um, I actually just, when I started with Cranberry Bliss, I just picked a random color. Um, I didn't start at the top, but eventually it does kind of go in a little bit of a, of a row order. Um, but anyway, the purpose really of this video is just for you to see how easy it is for you to blend the two colors together to achieve the color that you want. Now, there are a couple of colors that are a little I was about to say tricky. I don't know if tricky is the right word, but this maybe require a little bit more finesse in blending than others. And um, when I get to those colors, I'll go ahead and um, mention that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with um, Cranberry Bliss, and we'll just go straight down the rows, and I'll show you how to mix those colors. 
All right, so here we go. I've zoomed in a little bit um, so that you can see um, a little bit better what I'm doing. And as I'm starting, and as I was going to pick the first two colors, which were um, 02 and 040, or 2 and 40, which is what I'll say from now on, because 02 and 040 is just kind of ridiculous to say, um, but just so that you know. Um, the, there is a reason to the way that the numbers, um, the order that they're listed. So um, if it says two and 40, it, you, it's best if you start with two and then go to 40. Um, so start doing the layer of two and then layer with the 40. Sometimes it doesn't really matter, but more often than not, it does. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, and also, um, there is a little note on our tin right down here that has an X and an asterisk. An X means you need to apply heavy pressure, and an asterisk means you want to apply light pressure. And you'll see that here and there throughout the tin um, with the different colors that require that, okay? So just keep that in mind. So to begin with, our Cranberry Bliss, again, it starts with two, so we're gonna do two first. And there was, there was no specific notation um, with the two and the 40. So what I did when I started blending these, um, or coloring with these, let's see if I can get it so that you can see, there we go, was I didn't, I tried not to make two, basically I just tried to cover um, the the stamped image with just even pressure. So not too hard and not too um, heavy. I say not too light or not too heavy, um, but just kind of an even coating, an even layer before I picked up my next uh, my next color and gone and went over it. And I just again, I tried to make it nice and even and color all the the space available. Now, for some of them, I would go back, and depending upon if I was able to achieve the right uh, color or not, I might go back and add a little bit more of the previous color. Um, but sometimes you don't have to. Sometimes you're good. So I just picked up my other my two again, and I'm coming back with a little bit more of that deeper red. And I think there we go. I think I've got just what I need there. Okay. Now, at this point, you can go with your colorless blender and you can kind of even um, kind of spread that wax out a little bit to make it nice and smooth. But again, that's not something you have to do. It's just something if you want to, you can. Now on my screen, it looks a lot, a little bit lighter than this Cranberry Bliss, but as I'm looking at it and um, with, uh, without a screen, it, it actually is a very close color, even though it does look a little bit orange on my screen. It actually is pretty true to our Cranberry Bliss color. Okay, so that one act was actually fairly simple. It didn't require too much. Um, a nice, even, medium pressure will be all that you need. Okay, all right, so let's go on to buttercream. Um, so buttercream requires 48, which I believe is our white, yes and 17. Now, I made this notation here. On our buttercream, it has a little asterisk saying light pressure. Um, I found that if I started off with a good bit of um, a heavy pressure on my white first, which is what I'm doing right now, and then regular to normal pressure with 17, last really help to achieve the right tone um, and the right color. So I suggest play around with it. You know, that's what these are for. Grab your colors. The guide is there to be just what it is, a guide that's gonna help you because if you started off trying to create buttercream and you used um, 17 and applied heavy, heavy, heavy pressure and then came with the Y and did um, really heavy, it wouldn't have created the exact color that you were wanting to create. So the guide is there, so use it, but then, you know, tweak it if you need to. So like I said, I found that applying heavy pressure with 48 and then adding a medium pressure with 17 created the perfect buttercream for me. Okay. All right, let's go to banana cream. Now, banana cream 
here uses eight and 17. So let me go ahead and grab my eight. And I played around with this one a little bit and I discovered that using light pressure with eight first, um, remember the asterisk means light, light pressure, and then going over it with 17 created that banana cream look. So let's go ahead and replicate that. So again, light pressure. So light pressure, you know, it just means that you're lightly going over the image and you're not pressing too hard on it. And then now with the 17 to bring in that yellow tone. I just have so much fun playing with these, um, with these pencils. Now, as I'm doing this, um, I will go ahead and just tell you a little bit about them again, and just in case you didn't get to catch my previous video. Um, so our pencils are, and there we go, you've got the beautiful butter, or excuse me, banana cream, excuse me, um, there. Um, so our pencils, our colored pencils are a um, wax base colored pencil with a light oil coating, okay? Now, what that means is they're kind of like a hybrid-ish kind of a pencil. So they're very, very, very incredibly similar to Prismacolor pencils, except for because we have that nice light coating that they just blend so beautifully. They, they're almost like an oil-based pencil. They're not, they're a wax base, but because they have that oil coating, it just makes for smooth, super velvety finishes, which are just wonderful. It makes it nice and easy to blend and color with. Okay, so this one requires 39 and 48. Here's 48 and 39. The fun, I've just had, had so much fun blending with these because you just don't, um, you start coloring, you're like, oh my gosh, it's turning out to be the color you wanted. Okay, so this one, there's no specific um, heavy or light. So when there is no specific, um, you know, a specified thing to do, I just kind of do a generic kind of a medium layer of color. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back over it with the white. Now this one, there's a couple of colors that either just don't quite have the right um, shade. They're just a little a shade or a tint off. This was one of those that was just a little bit uh, more brown. It looks like I got achieved a little bit closer look than the first time. Um, anyway, so with with that, you just kind of have to play with the you know the pressure of the color, and that'll help you achieve the color you want. Okay, so that was oatmeal cookie. Um, next is pineapple smoothie, and it requires eight and 17. So here's my eight and 17 is here. And I'm noticing here that it requires 17 to have a heavy pressure. So let's go ahead and start with eight. And again, just gonna do a, just a medium pressure here. Okay, and then heavy pressure with 17. And voila, it gets that beautiful pineapple smoothie look. Isn't that so cool? I think it's that's cheap entertainment for me is playing with these pencils. Okay, moving on to Tangerine Fusion. So Tangerine Fusion requires 37 and 13. So let me go ahead and grab 37. That's 39. Here's 37 and 13. Here we go. All right, so these two colors create our Tangerine Fusion. And there was no specification on this, so I'm just gonna start with 37 um, medium pressure. Medium pressure, and then also just kind of an even distribution of color. I always try to make it so that it's nice and even and smooth. Okay, and then picking up 13, going over it again with same medium pressure.
There you go. All right. There you go. Beautiful tangerine fusion. Now, um, in my previous video, I talked about these um, these colorburst blenders, which are fantastic for taking two colors and blending them together. I've discovered that with small surface areas, I don't necessarily need to, but you can because um, the awesome thing about the blender is that it smooths out your coloring and it just makes it look even more, um, I was about to say professional, it really does. It gives it a, a more of a professional finish and, and not as much of a raw finish as the uh, when you just leave it without blending it. Okay, all right, let's, I guess I'm gonna go down and up here. So let's go ahead and do Pretty Pansy. And let's see, Pretty Pansy is 41 and 35. So here's that one. I'm gonna have a big mess of pencils by the time I'm done with this video. Um, okay, so 41 and 35. Sorry y'all, I'm gonna find 35. Here it is. Okay. So starts with 41 and it looks like 35 has um, a lot of pressure here. So um, as I'm doing this, I probably should say that some of these marks, so for example, with Pretty Pansy, I actually put just uh, made that X there. As I was creating and as I was blending these colors, I thought it would be helpful for you guys to know that in order for me to achieve that look and for you to achieve the look, it required um, heavy pressure there on, um, on 35. So just FYI, again, you guys can play with these and you know find this out on your own, but you know, sometimes it helps to have a little bit of help and um, you don't have to recreate the wheel. Okay, so starts off with 41. And again, I'm just going to do a medium tone. I always love seeing the color come to life. You know, you add one layer and it's it looks one way and then you add a second layer and it changes the color completely. So here I go. I'm going to go with a heavy hand here. And I'm going to color fairly dark. And I'm telling you guys, once you get these pencils in your hand, you're going to love them. This, the, the, I can't get over this, the light oil coating just makes it so smooth and really nice to work with. I just really love it. Okay, so now I've achieved my pretty pansy. All right, so I'm gonna go on up to Lavender Fusion. Okay, so and Lavender Fusion was one of them that was a little brighter than the um, cardstock color. Um, let's see here, 41, 42. This one is 34, 34, and 48 which 48 is white. Um, okay, so again, this one is a little bit brighter than um, what it looks like on the cardstock, but it's, again, it's very close match. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a medium pressure here. <coughs> Excuse me to make it as even as I can. And then coming back over with the white is what's gonna create our lavender fusion. Again, isn't that so neat? I love it, I think it's so cool. You guys are gonna have so much fun playing with these. All right, let's go ahead and move on to Cosmic Grape. And that one is 36 and six. So let me go ahead and grab 36 and here is six. All right, and just since there was no specification on these, I'm just gonna do light pressure. I am using 36 first. Okay, nice 
even distribution of color. And then going over with, again, medium pressure here. You know, what I've also discovered, our blending um, sticks are fantastic for blending color without adding color. But because of the wonderful, um, nice oil coating on our pencils, you can blend with a color as you're coloring, if that makes sense. And it's, it's just fantastic, I just love it. Okay, that was Cosmic Grape. And let's go on to Pomegranate Splash. And that is, let's see, 40 and three. All right, and we're gonna start with 40. Again, no specific um, specifications on light or hard pressure or light or hard pressure, so I'm just gonna do medium. I find that if you have a nice medium pressure that you're able to achieve a more even look, more even distribution of your color. All right, and I'm gonna come back now with three. Okay, there we go. Now we've got pomegranate splash. I am in love with the fact that these pencils were created to match our cardstock and our inks. Awesome, I love it. Okay, moving on, Dark Roast, 42 and 41. Here's 41 and here's 42. Okay, so again, medium pressure since there's no specifications here. Now this tone may be hard to pick up on the computer screen, but it is, it's, cause it probably just looks black, but it actually does have a little bit of a brown um, tone to it. I'll go back with 41 now. After putting this little chart together um, and coloring some, a few other images, Blending is my favorite thing with these pencils. So fun. It gets addicting. So just FYI, you're like, what else can I put together? What else can I color? Okay, so there we go. All right, moving on to Rich Coral. And let's see, that requires 40 or 14 and one. So let's see here, here's 14 and one. So again with the medium pressure. Okay, and then coming up with the uh, number one here. Where is it? There it is. Again, medium pressure, and whenever, whenever I go over um, the previous color, I like to make sure that I, I get all any, any little space I might have missed with the first one and kind of blend those together with that second color. Beautiful, okay, so rich coral. All right, halfway through, let's go. Next one is uh, deep lilac, and um, you can see that I put an asterisk here saying to go really light with 41 and then regular normal pressure with 35. So here's 41 and let's see, 35, here's 35. So there we go, 41 and 35. And you know what, sometimes you're like, really, those two colors make that? And it's crazy, but it's fun when it comes to life, when you, especially when you're not expecting it to, to really have that effect. Okay, so I made that stipulation to go real light, so I'm just doing a really light, barely any pressure, just enough to get a little bit of that color on there and trying to make it even. It's just basically shading it. And then regular pressure with 35.
and boom, we've got deep lilac. Really pretty. All right, now I think on that one I probably use my little blending stick to smooth it out. Voila, pretty. Okay, so there's Deep Lilac. Now let's do Huckleberry Fusion. Huckleberry Fusion is one of my favorite colors. It's just a really fun blue, I feel. Um, okay, so this one requires 32 and 31. Now, one thing that I had mentioned in my previous video um, was one of the benefits for choosing our Fun Stampers Journey Color Burst pencils as opposed to something like Prismacolors is the easy blendability of our colors. And um, because our color palette is very specifically made and chosen, the colors are, are chosen to match the colors we have, it's really easy to choose colors that go well together. Usually they're just right next door to each other or two or three down. So basically it's not a hard, fast rule, okay? But generally speaking, if you've got two colors next to each other, um, let's see, I'll bring some of this out here. Like these three or four will blend nicely together. Your purples here, the browns, this, all these cool tones, they're all these just, by sections will blend well together. Something fun that you can um, uh, really try out as you get your pencils. Okay, so back to this 32. And I'm just gonna use regular pressure since there's no specification. And again, let me just reiterate, um, some of these specifications that I've marked here are just what I have learned as I blended these myself and you know, a little trial and error, and it's what worked best for me to achieve that color. Um, there are some marks, again, like I said and showed you on the tin that um, tell you to use light or dark pressure to achieve some colors, um, and it's always good to heed those. Okay, nice. There we go. Okay, moving on. Denim days. This one's really pretty. This one is one of those that's hard to pick up on the um, on the camera, but it's it's really pretty and it's a really nice match too. Okay, so this one uses 33 and 45. Isn't that fun. I just love how these colors mix together. Okay, so again, regular pressure here. Okay, and then regular pressure with 45. There we go. And I'm using this 45 to just kind of, you know, blend and fill in some of the spaces I might have missed with the other one. And that creates that beautiful uh, denim days. Now I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna bring this light to see if that will help with, uh, I don't know. It's like, the, no, that stuff, this is definitely better. Okay, I feel like it was like at the doctor, better, worse, better, worse, um, the eye doctor. Okay, so let's move on to beach ball. And this one requires, let's see, 26 and 30. So there's that 26 is here and 30 is that one. Okay, so regular pressure here. And then going back over with 30, layering that second color. And you know, I'm using the word layering 
And I think that may be, I mean, it is applicable and it is true, but it might be a little misleading because as I'm layering this color, it's actually blending in with the previous layer. So I'm not, it's not a layer like cover up completely. It's, it's really kind of mixing them together as I color over that first layer. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so 30 and 26 were those. Next one, cool pool. Okay, so now this one is one that is a tad, and it looks like you can pick it up on the screen. It's a very good color match, it, but the color pencils give it just, it, it's a bit brighter, okay, than the um, than our cardstock. So just keep that in mind. And it uses 24 and 17. Here's 17, there's 24. So here's, um, 24 and 17 there. And again, just regular pressure. And some of these are really close just by themselves, but they just need that extra little bit to kind of push it over to give it a closer color match. All right. Fabulous, very good. Okay, next one is Fresh Forest and it needs 44 and 32. So let me come over to this one here. 44 and 32. So we've got those two and it's gonna create, isn't that funny? These two colors are gonna create that. Isn't that wild? I think it's the coolest thing. Oh, just kidding, not 32, 23. <laughs> You're like, no, actually those colors don't create that. Not even close. <laughs> okay, here, these two, I guess that's more believable, huh? 44 and, oh, let's go this way, and 23. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with 44. Again, no, stipulation on pressure on this one so just trying to get an even layering down of color here and then now with um, 23 so here's something you can take with you um, when you're coloring with colored pencils you know the depending upon, let's just, I'll just pretend that you have never colored with colored pencils before. Um, but depending upon what you're doing, what you're coloring, a lot of um, artists really like to have a sharp lead to color with. Um, and for some things, for lots of detailed work, that is important. But I find that if my lead is just a little bit dull, not so pointy, and I'm able to blend and lay my colors down more smoothly. So unless I'm doing detailed work and I want to color an itty bitty little area, I actually like will actually, you know, color, color, color and make this tip blunted. And that helps me to create a smoother look. So just something to think about when you are working on your projects and coloring. All right, I'm gonna go to the top here instead of working this way up because this is a special color. Um, so I'm gonna work here first. So Kiwi Slice is next. Um, and let's see, what does it say? 22 and 32. So let's see, here's 32. Uh, keep saying 32, y'all. I'm The thing is, I'm reading these upside down. <laughs> I'm not dyslexic, I promise. Okay, so 23, 22 and 23, that's easy. Here's 23 and 22. So again, another great example of two colors right next to each other that blend beautifully together and creates another color. So even though you have 48 actual pencils, you can create multiple different colors, more than 48 for sure. So now medium pressure with my 23.
three. There we go. Now I've got my kiwi slice. All right. Now let's go with Limeade Splash. And this one uses 21 and 23. So I'll keep that one out. Again, medium pressure, no stipulation as to heavy or light. And then going over it, 23. All right, this one I must have added a little bit more of the first one. I'll go back and add a little bit more green here, a little bit more of a lighter green. Close enough. I almost look on camera, they look a little closer than my first one. Um, okay, so there you go. And uh, okay, now we'll do Electric Lime. Electric Lime is one of our newer colors, came out with our uh, Be Amazing tour. Okay, let's see here 18 and 21. So let's get at it here. And 21 is a very bright, um, I say 21, 18. So this is what I'm coloring right now. You may not be able to pick it up, but it's actually almost neon um, in color, which is great for creating these electric, uh, electrifying kind of really bright shades here. All right, pretty. Okay, moving down to Lemon Grass. I don't really talk like that, but that's kind of fun to say. Okay, Lemon Grass, 23 and 17. So here's 17 and 23. Again, no stipulation as to hard or soft, so I'm just gonna try to get this evenly on here. Medium pressure. And then come back with the 17. And you'll notice, it's probably hard to tell here with this camera view, but um, as you're coloring and as you add that second color, you'll notice that the oils, um, that light oil coating, you'll notice it right away because it just makes it super smooth and super fun uh, to use. Uh, it's very velvety. It's a fun word. There we go. All right, so that's lemongrass. Okay, so we've made it to the very last one. And the reason why I chose this one last is because I found that the color recommendation that they have on the tin didn't work for me. It didn't, I wasn't able to achieve um, this. Okay, so here's Sweet Pear. Okay, and it says 16 and 21. Um, I wasn't able to achieve that color using 16 and 21, and maybe it's user error. Um, but as I was looking at the colors and playing around, I was able to achieve it, and I thought it was pretty dang close. I thought it was really, really th the closest um, that I was able to get. Uh, we're, we're using different colors. So learn from me, and um, what turned out to be the best was, um, you know what, that says 22, but it's actually 20. Sorry, I'm gonna change that as I'm looking at it right now. So it's actually zero two zero. Okay, so it's actually 20, 16, and 48, okay? So the original color was 16 and 21, and you know what, I might just go ahead and let me go ahead and stamp one, and I'll show you what I mean about the difference in um, in color. So first, I want to go ahead and color it um, with the color that I the color combinations that I felt um, were best. So again, um, that was 
20, which is our gold um, pencil-ish, gold-ish. Um, 16 and 48. Okay, so those three are what I use to create that color. And I'll go ahead and show you now. Um, so I think I use just a regular medium um, pressure here. And Sweet Pear is actually one of my favorite ink colors. So pretty. Um, and then medium pressure with 16. And that's where it kind of gets a little bit of the green in because you're bringing in yellow. And then to mute it down, because Sweet Pear is actually a muted tone, muted color, um, I added the white, which was 48. And um, that just kind of kind of brings it down to the right tone. I might have it looks like I might have had a little bit more yellow than I should have, but even so, it's still. I don't know what happened to my video, but I went ahead and showed you how to do this and had talked all about it and then realized it didn't record. So here I am doing it again. Um, so what I was saying earlier was these are the three colors that I chose and I put together to create the best combination to match our sweet pair. Um, the tin gives us, um, tells us to use 16 and 21 and that's the color combination that I have here that I X'd out and I wanted to go ahead and show you how I did that. Um, so they said 16 and 21 so I wanted to do 16 first. Medium pressure I just kind of wanted to show you um, that it just didn't quite, just didn't quite do it. Um, didn't quite match the color like it, like the other three that I chose um, to do. See, it's just, it's not even, it, it's kind of close. <laughs> but I feel like the combination that I came up with, the 20, the 16, and the 48, is a much better match to sweet pair than 16 and 21. I just don't know, um, this is not working for me. Again, it could be user error, um, but for me, this one is a much better match than the one that was suggested. So again, those are your pencils, so you can choose the colors that you feel like match best to bet. Um, FYI, that's kind of the ones that worked best for me. All right, so just as a quick review, uh, the ones that I felt like needed a little bit of extra um, uh, attention would be Sweet Pear, and then, let's see here. Um, here we go. Deep Lilac required the light pressure on 41. Down here, Pretty Pansy required using heavy pressure when you used 35. Pineapple Smoothie required heavy pressure when using 17. Banana Cream required using light pressure when using 8. And Buttercream required using heavy pressure when using 48. Um, and then there was something else I wanted to say. I can't remember, I'm sure it'll come up. Um, so again, these are just some notes that I came up with when using the pencils. I'm just gonna zoom out um, a little bit so you can see um, the whole grid. These are kind of what I came up with when using the pencils. Of course, you know that they have it there on the box, uh, the ones that need uh, light or heavy pressure. Um, when creating or when using the colors, but I felt like when layering the colors, you also need a distinction between um, light pressure or heavy pressure on certain colors. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully that was helpful to you and 
seeing in and seeing how I blended the colors together, what pressure to use um, to achieve certain colors. Again, I will uh, take a picture of this and have it there at the end of the video for you. Um, but again, really all that you need is this right here and some time to play with them because once you get them in your hands, you'll see um, how much pressure is needed, okay, for each color. Um, so just a quick review as far as their specs again. These are a wax-based colored pencil with a light oil coating that even though we say light oil coating, it really has a great effect. It really almost makes them a bit of a hybrid sort of a pencil. Um, and you get 48 uh, pure color pencils. They are $79.95 and you can get them at www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. Do a little search for our color pencils and they will pop up. Um, I feel like they are a fantastic investment, a must have for your craft room if you enjoy coloring, stamping, um, anything that you can add color to. These are a great, great uh, little tool in your crafting arsenal to have. So I look forward to helping you out with um, your purchase there. And um, if you have any questions um, about the pencils, how to use them, or uh, about the specifications or anything about that, just feel free to contact me. I'll gladly help you and fill you in. Um, if you are looking for a specific tutorial on um, using the pencils or uh, anything concerning the pencils, let me know. I'm happy to help. I had someone ask earlier, can you make a stamping 101 video? I'm like, hmm, yes I can. I think it's a great idea, so I'll be working on that too. Um, anyway, okay, I guess that's it. Um, you know what, I actually was gonna show you something that I did coming up on my blog pretty soon that I, I created um, using our colored pencils. So I made a little, it's like a gift box, card in a box. Not sure how else to describe it, but um, you could see here, it's got a little clear view sheets in there. I could put little goodies in there. Um, but what I wanted to show you was I colored a little cupcake image. Uh, it's kind of blurry, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if you can pick that up, but I colored it using our colored pencils. Um, I thought it was kind of cute and fun to share. Love sharing projects. I love seeing your projects as well. Um, so if you ever want to, look me up on Facebook. Um, I am made to create on Facebook there and you can show me things that you've created using our Fun Stampers Journey products. Um, and I'd be happy to see them, I'd love to see them. Okay, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.